to the home of mathematics. In this video series, we will show you the milestones in the journey of human mathematical discoveries. Plato, 428 to 348 BC. Born in Athens in 423 to 428 BC. Plato is widely considered as one of the most important and influential individuals in human history, and the pivotal figure in the history of ancient Greek and Western philosophy, along with his teacher, Socrates, and his famous student, Aristotle. Plato has also often been cited as one of the founders of Western religion and spirituality. Plato was considered an accomplished teacher of mathematics. Eudokos of Nidus, the greatest mathematician in classical Greece, who contributed much of what is found in Euclid's elements, was taught by Archytas and Plato. Plato helped to distinguish between pure and applied mathematics by widening the gap between arithmetic, now called number theory and logistic, now called arithmetic. How many regular three-dimensional solid with equal faces, edges, and vertices are there in the world? I can only name five. Four-face, tetrahedron, six-face, cube. 8-face, octahedron, 12-face, dodecahedron and 20-face, icosahedron. How can you know there are only 5 regular solids? Well, I could only think of 5. However, in my dream, people considered the angle around a vertex to show that there are only 5 possible regular solids, an icosahedron should be the last one with five faces meeting at a vertex. How could I pick up the most beautiful flower in a garden without looking back? Ah, uh, that's a very difficult task. I once was asked by my teacher Socrates to pick up the strongest stalk of wheat in a field, but I ended up empty-handed. Now I think of a trick. My strategy is to go down to about 37% of the garden, and then pick up any flower which is more beautiful than all you've previously seen. The chance of getting the most beautiful flower is about 1 over E or 37%. What is E? It is a letter not a number. Ask Euler. His name starts with an E and he could tell you more. Thank you for watching. Talent is important, but how one develops and nurtures it is even more so. See you at the home of mathematics.